On this episode of the Lower Challenge, we're gonna try and catch fish with Play Doh. That's cool. Somewhere. So this was one of my favorite pastimes as a young, homeschooled boy. I made a lot of crazy things out of Play-Doh. I made monsters, I remember, and I made all kinds of stuff. But I never thought that I'd be trying to catch fish with it, because that is what we're doing today. I had a guy in the comment section suggest using Play-Doh, and I thought, that's not a bad idea. So, on this episode of the Lure Challenge, we're gonna find out, can you catch fish with Play-Doh? So the great thing about Play-Doh is that you can make a lot of different things with it, and today I'm gonna be making a lure, so let's get right into it. So I got my ball of Play-Doh and I'm going to make a lure. The lure I'm going to make is, of course, a soft plastic jerkbait because it is fall and flukes and soft plastic jerkbaits work really well this time of year. I could make a wacky worm, but that'd be kind of boring. I wanted to try something a little bit different. I'm going to roll it into a cigar shape here. And then I'm going to just going to slowly taper the tail. I'm not going to give you guys a very detailed tutorial because it's Play-Doh. Come on. So there you go, that is the bait I have made, as you can see, just a basic kind of a stick bait type deal. Fat head, tapered tail. Um, now as far as rigging this bait goes, it's going to be a little bit difficult because Play-Doh, it's going to very soft and the hook will rip right out of it. So, so here we go, there's the bait, it's just basically a fat head, tapered tail, just put a wide gap hook in it. Hopefully this will have a good action in the water. Let's get out on the water and see if we can't catch some fish with this weird Play-Doh jerkbait thing. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder about my own sanity, to tell you the truth. Well guys, I am out here on the water. I have my green sweater on, hashtag pumpkin spice fall vibes, and uh, got my bait caster, GoPro, all that stuff, and I got some Play-Doh. We're gonna try and catch some fish. Um, I have been experimenting with the Play-Doh a little bit off camera, and I will say that it does have some pretty good action. I kind of molded it into kind of a fluke shaped bait and it does walk very nice under the water. Um, but the water is extremely clear right now. It's like the clearest I've seen in a while. So I'm not sure how that brash um, purple color is gonna, gonna affect the fish in this clear water. Uh, this pond is usually pretty difficult to fish. The fish are usually pretty skittish. So we'll have to see once how it goes. ISO 800, that's ridiculous. You don't need to be at ISO 800. Twitch, twitch, M. So yeah, throw in this. Hey man, what you fishing with today? Uh, just a hunk of Play-Doh. This is really, oh dude, I got, I had a fish. There was a fish on it. I felt him. Oh, there we go. Yep. I got one, dude. No way. No way, Jose. I got a fish on Play-Doh. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> okay, this is incredible people, right here, history is made, the first ever fish caught on Play-Doh, I would beg to venture, that is insane, it's not a big one, but, ah! caught a fish on Play-Doh, it's ridiculous, thumbnail, alright, get out of here bud. That's a better fish. Alright. <laughs> yeah, that's a better one right there. That's about a good, that's a good solid one pounder. So okay, I've seen a lot of weird things while I'm fishing, but this has probably gotta be the weirdest thing I've ever seen. These fish are eating this play-doh up. I've had Quite a few bites, and this is my second nice bass on Play-Doh. Just a quick side note, the Play-Doh I am using is non-toxic, so it's not gonna affect the fish or the water in any way. So let's break it down. Why was I able to catch those fish on a Play-Doh jerkbait? The number one reason I believe is Play-Doh has 
a very high salt content. I mean, if I taste the Play-Doh, which I'm going to, very, very salty. So that is really good. Now, if you fish with soft plastics a lot, you know that a lot of soft plastic lures have salt put into them, and this does two things. It makes the bait very dense, so it sinks really fast, and that can help get a bite. And it also has a taste, so when a bass bites onto a lure, he tastes the salt, not the actual plastic that the, the, the lure is made out of. So that's what's great about Play-Doh. It has a lot of salt, and that makes it dense, and it sinks fast, and it also helps when those fish bite, they'll hang on to it a little bit longer. The second reason I believe this works so well is the action. I molded this in such a way that it had a really great darting side-to-side -side action, and then if you kill it, it'll just fall like a dying minnow. I believe that was one of the main reasons I had success. And of course, the third reason is that Play-Doh is very soft. It feels very natural, so when a fish bites onto it, it feels like there's prey in its mouth. And of course, the fourth reason is the color. The color I was using was a purple like this, and that is a proven color that is known to get bass's attention and to catch them. So guys, thanks for watching this episode of the Lure Challenge. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Brendan's Fabulous World of Fishing for behind the scenes and exclusive photos. So thanks guys for watching and I will catch you next time.